Outsiders, hello, Tony from the Outsider Channel with you once again today, and you could notice by the thumbnail, I've got a little bit of a life update for my uh, personal life, I guess you could say, and my dog Pupper Pip, who's basically my compadre sidekick on this channel. If you guys have been following the channel a couple years ago, you remember that Pip had a mast cell tumor. We got it all out, it was pretty invasive surgery, and it was kind of a nightmare to be honest with you, because we didn't know if he was going to make it or not. They tried to get all of it out. And the thing about mast cell tumors and, and cancer with dogs is that if you have one, there's a really good probability that it will come back. That's the case this time around. So since the last surgery and the last time we went through this, we've been feeding him grain-free, really healthy dog food and keeping track of his diet. We're doing the best we can with the tools that we've, and the knowledge we've been given, but that's just not foolproof. And it's, it's just one of those things in life, you know? So I noticed a small bump on his leg probably a week ago, really small and didn't think much of it because the other one was so big when we got it removed. So we brought him in to the doctor and he immediately noticed that it was like an inch down from the last incision. And uh, he was just like, you know, I can tell this is something that's gonna be a problem, but I don't see it being a huge issue to, to do surgery. So we're like, okay, let's just get it done. You know, so he went in for surgery the following day. It turns out when he opened up, pip, to get rid of it, that little bump had a root attached to it and it went pretty far down his leg. So this time around, the incision is actually bigger than the last time it happened. It's in a crappier spot on his leg. You can actually see it now that he's shaved, you can see his old scar and, and the new one right underneath it. And the problem with the new one is that not only is it bigger and more invasive, but it was uh, in that spot where he's walking and if he moves around, it's gonna be moving that incision and those staples. And so every time he gets up, it's painful. He's been home for a couple of days now. So we've gotten kind of this routine down where he is resting and I help him get into his bed and get that leg out. And then when he's gotta go out or eat, he's just kind of like, I help him off the couch and he walks around and he's in pain for like a minute or two crying and then I think that it's just kind of like he gets used to it or maybe the the scarring is starting to heal a little bit more so it's been not as gnarly I guess the last day or two and he's wagging his tail on a walk sniffing the squirrels and, and doing his own thing but it's just one of those things you know in life where priorities are uh, very important and, and this channel is important to me but my family and Pip he's basically my best friend um, he's on all of my trips you guys gotten to know him a little bit so I, I'm taking the week off and just gonna help take care of Pip with my wife and make sure he's comfortable. So the good news is he's gonna be okay. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass the next few months. He's gonna go through some things and we're gonna go through them together. With that, I'll give you a little channel update. If you guys notice, I'm wearing an Outsider jersey. I released these on Patreon. They sold out in a day. So if you're interested in that, keep uh, your eyes peeled to the channel. Those will be coming back in another couple weeks and uh, it's a limited run. There's only 50, so they're gonna be released to the public on uh, video in the next month or so. If all goes well this week and Pip is on the up and up, I'm supposed to go to Downeyville for next week. So I'll be in Downeyville riding the shuttles and gonna hit North Star Bike Park before that closes up, hopefully. I'm gonna meet up with Mark from Scouts Out and we're gonna kinda go and ride together for the week. So maybe the timing actually is good. We caught that problem with Pip because uh, I've been postponing a lot of stuff this summer through the fires and a lot of and a lot of things that have been going on. So I haven't been doing as much traveling as I'd like to. So I'd really like to get on this Downeyville trip. I've been looking forward to it for a while and it'd be nice to get up in Northern California for a little bit into the forest and, and just uh, see what's going on in, in Downeyville. I haven't been there in a couple years, so stick around for that and stay tuned for an update with Pip. I'll keep you guys kind of logged in and tuned in with his progression on Instagram if you want to follow along. There you go. But yeah, stick around if you haven't been on the channel. Usually it's mountain bike content and I'm not usually rambling about personal life so much. I mean, that's a part of the channel, but it's not a vloggy kind of style like this. I think that it's important to be upfront with you guys and let you guys know what's going on in my life. I, I don't feel vulnerable anymore. The community is so awesome. You guys have been so great with uh, the videos since I started years ago, so I'm completely comfortable sharing this stuff with you guys. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'll see you guys in two weeks when I get back from Downeyville. We'll plan bikes.